Hey everyone, it's Jack here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about the top 5 financial mistakes to avoid in your 20s. I know, I know, finance can be boring, but stick with me, cause I'm gonna make it fun and relatable. You know, when I was in my 20s, I made all the mistakes in the book, but I learned from them and now I'm here to share my knowledge with you, so you don't have to make the same mistakes. So, grab a cup of coffee or a beer, whatever you prefer, and let's dive in. So the first mistake on our list is not having a budget. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Dub Jack, everyone knows what a budget is, but trust me, a lot of people in their 20s don't have a budget, and that's a big mistake. A budget is like a GPS for your money. It helps you plan your route and make sure you're headed in the right direction. Without a budget, it's easy to overspend and end up in debt. And trust me, I know all about overspending and debt. I've been there, done that, bought the designer handbag, and regretted it later. But don't worry, I've learned from my mistakes, and now I'm here to share my knowledge with you. So, how do you create a budget? Well, it's actually pretty simple. First, start by listing all of your income and expenses. This will give you a clear picture of where your money is going. Then, use a budgeting app like Mint or YNAB to help you track your spending and create a plan. These apps are great because they make budgeting easy and fun. And let's face it, budgeting doesn't have to be boring. But here's the thing, you've got to be realistic about your spending. Just because you want to buy that designer handbag, doesn't mean you should. So make adjustments as needed. If you find that you're spending too much on eating out, then cut back on that and find ways to save money. And here's a secret tip for you guys. Try the envelope method. It's where you put cash for specific expenses in different envelopes, like groceries, entertainment. This can help you stick to your budget and avoid overspending. It's like a physical reminder of your budget and it's helped me a lot in the past. Again, budgeting doesn't have to be boring. So, take a sip of your coffee and let's start creating your budget. Trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. Mistake number two, not saving for retirement. Retirement seems like a long way off, but trust me, it'll be here before you know it. And the earlier you start saving for retirement, the better off you'll be. Saving for retirement is important because it ensures that you have enough money to live on when you're no longer working. But here's the thing. A lot of people in their 20s don't think about retirement at all. They're too busy enjoying the present and spending their money on things they want. But if you don't start saving for retirement now, you'll have to save more later to make up for lost time. And that can be difficult and may lead to not having enough money in retirement. So, how do you start saving for retirement? Well, it's actually pretty simple. First, Start by setting a retirement savings goal. How much do you want to have saved by the time you retire? Next, look into your employer's retirement plan and try to contribute as much as you can. A lot of employers offer 400 and onic plans, and they often have a matching program, which is basically free money. And if your employer doesn't offer a retirement plan, consider opening an IRA or Roth IRA. These are individual retirement accounts that you can open on your own. Try to increase your contribution every year. It's a small increase, but it makes a big difference over time. And if you can't afford to increase your contribution, then try to at least keep it the same. Next mistake on our list is not having an emergency fund. I know, saving money for a rainy day doesn't sound like the most exciting thing in the world, but trust me, it's important. An emergency fund is a savings account set aside for unexpected expenses, such as medical bills, car repairs, or even job loss. I remember when my car broke down and I didn't have an emergency fund. I had to put the repairs on my credit card and it took me months to pay it off. It was a real emergency for my credit score. But if I had an emergency fund, it would have been a lot less stressful. So, how do you start building an emergency fund? Well, it's actually pretty simple. First, start by setting a goal for how much you want to have in your emergency fund. I recommend having at least three to six months of living expenses saved. Next, 
set aside a small amount of money from each paycheck and put it into your emergency fund. Look for ways to save money, such as cutting back on unnecessary expenses. And here's a secret tip for you guys. Consider setting up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account to make it easier to save. If you can, try to save more than that. You'll be better prepared for unexpected expenses. And it's important to keep your emergency fund in a separate account, so you're not tempted to use it for non-emergency expenses. Trust me, having an emergency fund will give you peace of mind, and it'll make those unexpected expenses a lot less stressful. All right guys, we're getting close to the end of our list, and the next mistake is not having a budget. I know, budgeting sounds like a drag, but it's one of the most important things you can do for your finances. A budget is like a road map for your money. It tells you where it's going and where it's coming from. I know some of you might be thinking I don't make enough money to budget or I don't have time for budgeting, but let me tell you, budgeting is not just for people with a lot of money or a lot of time. It's for everyone. And it's not as complicated as it sounds. Here's the deal. All you need is to list all your income and all your expenses. And then you compare the two. If you're spending more than you're earning, that's when you know you have a problem. But don't worry, it's not the end of the world. You can start cutting back on expenses and try to increase your income. If you try using a budgeting app, it makes it a lot easier and more convenient to track your expenses and income. Try to stick to your budget as much as possible, but don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up. Budgeting is a process, not a one-time thing. Having a budget will give you control over your money, instead of the other way around. So, don't be afraid to take the first step and start budgeting today. Mistake number 5 on not investing early. Alright guys, the last mistake on our list, and it's a big one, not investing early. Now, I know some of you might be thinking I don't have enough money to invest or I'm not smart enough to invest. But let me tell you. Investing is not just for the rich or the smart. It's for everyone. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow. And trust me, your money can grow a lot. Let me give you an example. If you invest $100 a month for 30 years and it grows at an average of 8% per year, you'll have over $200,000. Imagine what you could do with that kind of money. And you don't have to be a stock market expert to invest. You can start small and invest in index funds, which are a type of mutual fund that tracks a stock market index. They're easy to understand and they're not as risky as individual stocks. Try to invest as much as you can, as early as you can. And if you're not sure where to start, talk to a financial advisor. They can help you create an investment plan that's right for you. Investing early can have a huge impact on your financial future. So don't miss out on the opportunity to grow your money. So, these are the top 5 financial mistakes to avoid in your 20s. Remember, you're never too young to start taking control of your finances. And if you're not sure where to start, seek professional advice. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.